I see. I, I know him. I know him. Right, so today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a bunch of desperate, cringy, and some wholesome texts on Tinder. We're going to be going through Reddit, Tinder, and we're going to be seeing a bunch of weirdos out there, maybe even potential uh, creeps on the internet, and we're going to be seeing what DMs or what opening pickup lines they send to other people to find their better halves. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Okay, send it question mark from DelvyB33. Okay, let's see. Buying me a rain, buy me Rainbow Six Siege 33. I'll give you something worth your money. What's worth giving you? Okay, all right, I'm gonna keep it PG here. Uh, okay, well, no, let's move on from a update to being stood up. Okay, okay. So see, I'm a genius. Also, I forgot. Were you hungry? I'm making dinner at my place and was planning on getting a drink, to be honest. Okay, got you. I'll just get a drink, too. I just got you. I'm parked. Let me know when you're here and I'll come in. When you parked, I'm about to walk in. Hey, actually, I just got a call from my neighbor who saw my cat outside. I must have left my window open. I'm so sorry. Rain check? Wait, I have the same sitch? My pet iguana ran into tra- Okay, I see. Hey, I'm so sorry. Truly, I was there. My neighbor called me. I did not. I did find it. She was out in the wash next to my house. The cat in question. The kitty's time is impeccable. I'd love to make it up to you if you'd let me. Do you have morning this weekend? You're available for coffee? Okay, so this person sounds like they're pretty, pretty remorseful for their actions and they do want to make it even or settle the score. I'd say just go for it. Hear them out, maybe. See what they have to say. For themselves and it does seem pretty genuine that they do want to they, they texted you back saying you know i do want to meet up with you let's let's hop on a uh, coffee chat or not coffee chat sorry but you know let's let's go on a coffee date let's hear the comments say for this one i wouldn't call that stood up she communicated with you yet yet not an ideal situation but shit happens at least she didn't ghost you and despite your sarcastic comments still wants to meet you that is true he let go of the sarcastic comment here Fair play, fair enough. I respect that. Holy shit, I didn't know that was possible. Also, that cat is a fucking is fucking adorable. I would have folded directly. Please give us more updates on the next date. She kept you updated timely once she learned and even sent a pic of the cat. Someone who was planning to ditch shouldn't have left the courtesy here too, as none of it was needed. Being frustrated is understandable, but the moment you forget that each match is a different individual person is when you should take a break. That is true, I couldn't agree more. Let's move on. Queen treatment, what does that exactly mean? Okay, let's see what this is. I only accept queen treatment. If you are not available, make a video call to prove that you are not fake. Do not write to me. Serious question, do men who don't expect sex on the first date as if it's an obligation still exist? If that's your attention, wipe left, okay? That's fair, I would say, but what is tree queen treatment? I'm curious, I need to know what queen treatment is. Okay, so it means swipe left if you, if you value sanity. It's okay to treat a man or woman like a king or queen as long as the treatment is reciprocated. That's not question. To find your perfect match who's gonna wait on you and and foot, buy you presents and be nice to your mom. That seems pretty normal, isn't it? That seems that that seems pretty fair, I'd say. But make a video call to prove that you are not fake is a bit of a stretch. Like, why would I video call you if I don't even know you? I would not have been like in a in a rapper with you, you know. So um, yeah, I just swipe left. She seems like someone who's kind of like, you know, I need no man sort of situation. Anyways, let's move on. Had me cackling. Let's see. What's up with the movie Baby Driver? There was not a single baby in that movie, let alone a baby driving. It might be related to Kevin, Kevin Spacey's presence. Okay, I see. Who is Kevin Spacey? What? A few moments later. Later. One eternity later. Oh, I see. I, I know him. I know him. Fair enough. He does look a bit like a baby. I see. I, I get the joke now. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. This seems fishy. Crap. Okay. Come over, damn that's quite the tempting offer, sounds dangerous, want to? I mean, if I can guarantee I'll leave alive I'm down, come then, where? Yeah, I wouldn't go for that man, like, this person seems hella shady, not even answering, come then, want to, come over, seems kind of horny as well, as well. You only die once, 
send it. Opie hasn't been online in 16 hours. When do we send help? Basements aren't as bad as they crack them up to be. As a woman who's done this on Tinder, I'd say you have a chance she's not a serial killer more than likely just a drunk person. Do the no pants dance. Okay. I wouldn't go for that though. Whatever happened to hello? I'm jealous of your heart. Why? Because it's pounding inside you and now. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh nah bro, that's hella weird, dude. That's actually very bold as well, I'm not gonna lie. Hello doesn't work either. Yeah, nowadays it's considered boring and dry. Nowadays, I've seen women saying it's boring and dry since Tinder was released, which was over a decade ago. Lol. Just told my wife just told this to my wife in other in other news. I'll need a profile review soon. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Am I thinking what you're thinking? What do you what do you like to do for fun? What is fun but an obscure idea of how humans waste time? Yeah, this person seems like a buzzkill. I'd just ghost them, you know, like, okay, I'll send them a funny GIF or a reel and call it a day. Yeah, n nothing would want to make me date someone less, lol. That is crazy. Ask them what is in a waste of time. You should ask them, like, why are you intended then, like, you know? Like, just. Call them out on the bullshit. Okay, gross Tinder message part one. Bro, I have lots of hobbies such as eating it and beating it from back, going to Panda Express, playing Fortnite, gymming, being scared of women, and then also trying to talk to ridiculously pretty women such as yourself. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't call the first few hobbies. Maybe the gym, I guess. That's the only hobby in this entire passage right here. There's nothing else which is a hobby which is crazy okay moving on part two fart man definitely sense of humor we'll come back to that later on love a nice glass of listerine okay looking for feedback suggestions on my bio prom the kind of girl you could take back to home to mom cook his way to win me over is sharing my sense of humor and making me laugh okay that's nice safety first hey want to see something sure Phone. Nah, I don't want to get a ear infection. <laughs> That's funny. Fellow Mets fans, she unmatched after whoops. Watching the Phillies when they are also what put me in a funk to begin with. What about the Mets? Absolutely not. Dang, why the hate? Linda's Grand Slam was beautiful. Now, I'm not, I don't watch that, so I can't really even say much. Constructive criticism. Well, let's give it to him. Short term, open to long term. Okay. Just go with it. Okay. Alexis, he's a 26 year old Donnie. Okay. Lives environmental scientist. Cool. Straight. Cool. English, Spanish. Okay. Education. Bachelor. Communication style. Big time. Texter. Okay. Dog. Socially on weekends. Non smoker. Fair enough. I work out often. Interest. Road trip. Movies. Concerts. Dancing. Wine. Okay. Okay. Seems like a sophisticated guy. Oh cool, he's got a cute little puppy in the first pick. That's a nice pick. Cool. Okay. Cowboy style pick. Very nice. Uh mirror selfie, not probably the best option. Uh this I guess this is alright. So I'd give this profile like he seems like a sophisticated, nice guy. I'd give it a solid like eight out of ten, maybe. I'm not a big fan of this pick. Um this pick he knows what he's doing. He's getting all the attention of the ladies because you know, puppy. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Let's see what people have to say for this one. There's only one person who commented. Okay, I would swap 1 and 2, 3. Add a photo that indicates you have friends. And if you have a photo of you on a horse with a cowboy hat, I would add that also. You should have better photos or options than 5. Yeah, exactly. 6 is in a flattering pose. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that is, that is kind of pretty. It seems kind of closed up out here. Damn, that's kind of harsh, but fair enough. That's constructive criticism for you. How am I doing? I think we matched close to a year ago. Now I think I finally figured out the perfect look. Now, hey, cutie. Fuck, oh, never mind. I'm going to give it another year. You got to shoot your shot. You're missing 100% of the shots you're not taking. That's a good quote. I think somebody's a little confused. Future MILF. I don't want any children. Yeah, that is probably something you should look into a definition for 
Give me a voice. Get it because it's Oktoberfest season. Okay, a profile review. Okay, let's see. Okay, she seems cute. Okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine picks. Okay. Let's see how to meet peeps. What's your favorite wine? 50% nerd, 50% bad bitch. 50% mathematician. Let's go dancing. I can show you my genius moves. I also like puns. Five foot six. Long term open the shot. Okay, I'll probably remove 50% bad bitch. That's like a major, major anti boner right there. <laughs> uh, my anthem come out of a lady. Okay, top artist John Williams. Gotta respect that. Gotta respect that. Young the Giant. Gotta respect that. The Strokes. Pretty cool. Uh, Muse. Okay. Uh, nothing but the Thieves. Okay, I'm not too familiar with these two, but the Strokes. John Williams. Young the Giant. Bio. Um, so the profile, I'd probably switch this photo with that, move that one up there, put that like towards the ending. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. And give it a solid like 7 out of 10. The, the bad bitch thing really, really kind of pissed me off. I'm a woman, but really wanted to say your pictures are awesome and fun and you seem really friendly. Good luck. X. I don't think she needs luck. Luck needs her. Hi, I'm luck. Luck is my last name, but I would like to say it. I'd like for her to have it. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck on me for, okay. That. rate my profile bio under construction and not super happy with the four but it's an effort to keep photos recent okay i respect that daniel a 24 year old guy my polaroid is going to be my personality for the summer i've already decided okay okay he's he's a, he's a handsome looking donny let's check out his profile okay bachelor's phone call it don't have but love um basic and lifestyle okay okay oh daniel damn it oh you were doing so well until he posted this shit man you were doing so well until he posted this he was at a nine and now it's gone straight to a six okay he's got to get rid of this photo oh my Come on, Daniel. What are you doing, bro? Oh my. Nah, bro. Okay. okay it's gone to five now. That's fine. You can't even see him properly out here. This pick. Yeah, I read the entire profile. First and second pick are pretty good, but then delete pictures three, four, and five, and add more pictures of you smiling. Five, four, Three, nah, bro. I get, I, yeah, three, four, five. Yeah, I get rid of those three. I get rid of all of them, but the first two, honestly, in this opinion. He was the only one I found terrible. Four was goofy, enduring, and showed a layer of personality. I love how you have different picks and different scenarios. Fair enough, but I'll just get rid of read the entire profile. Okay, I'm back for another profile review. I think this one is bad. Please let me know. Okay, Jared, 20 year old, my age. I'm learning the piano, love 70 to 80s music, respectable. I'm always down for a hike or a movie night. Okay, okay. Interest reading surfing outdoors. Okay, that's pretty cool. And call it socially often. Okay. It's a cool pick, but I wouldn't stand like that. I, 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 I wouldn't stand like that. It looks kind of funny. That's a sick pick. But you can't see a, you can't see a face in that pick unless it's really a style off, I guess. But... Um, I don't know what's happening in this pick at all. That's a cool pick, I guess, but the pictures aren't very good. That first picture seems boring to me. Sorry. And come on, man. The first pick is probably the best pick from all of them. What's with the 80s mom hair? Oh my. It's kind of like a soccer, soccer mom hair. I'm not going to lie. I'm confident you will attract someone. This the last pick though. It is the least flattering. Last pick. I guess. Yeah, it's a kind of like rat, you know, the white rat boy look. Uh, so yeah. Gotta redo the entire profile. Get a haircut. You know, go to the gym. Get more wham, you know. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Very true. Yeah, it sucks to be a woman. On another topic, late, latest chainsaw man chapters have been crazy. Not too sure what just happened here. But um, he's not wrong. Chainsaw Man has been crazy lately. 
I think the new b bad guy dress. Oh, it's an anime. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I think I try to make everything a cloaks do reference. Helen Keller was actually blind and deaf. No, that was Anne Frank. She was deaf, dumb, and blind till the miracle worker came and knocked some. Oh my god. Okay, actually, it was not gonna match with you, but I had to tell you how fucking dumb what, what he said is. Anne Frank? How the actual fuck are you even comparing this to? She wasn't blind or deaf, she was fucking Jewish. Her whole ass family lived in basically a broom closet behind a bookcase. I thought I was, I thought I was challenged, but boy, did you uh, do a good job in making me feel competent? That is fucking harsh, okay? She wasn't blind nor deaf, she was Jewish, is hilarious, but that is, that is pretty fucking funny, okay? That is true, like, I'd, I'd go for the day with her and kind of just, you know, you know, mess around with her on the topic of Anne Frank, I'd say. Then probably name your kids Anne and the second one Frank. But, um, yeah, no, I think that's pretty funny, that's pretty hilarious, but if you guys like this video, comment down below which one do you think is the craziest one, and what if, you know, your profile was in this video, so. Shout out to you. And um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and you know, this really helps the channel. So leave a like, subscribe, check out the new video right now. This is right, yeah.